In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Notical AU plugin with GarageBand. We start by running up the MIDI pipe, which we use to create a very simple pipeline consisting of a MIDI input device and the DLS wavetable synthesizer. And we must remember to, before starting GarageBand, select the MIDI input device and set hijack. We can now run GarageBand. and we'll create a new music project which will now load up the music project which is created for us contains just one track which we're going to drill down on into now by showing the track editor and drilling in here and here we can now associate the Notical AU plugin with this track this pop-up list. Click on the pencil button here to invoke the notical editor and select the file or create a new file for playback. Here we go, we'll just hide the window now and we'll get GarageBand play. So notical is now playing through GarageBand through the DLS wavetable synthesizer using the services of MIDI pipe. We can change the tempo in real time like this. There you go. It's as easy as that to use. Instead, if we reshow the notical editor, you'll see the voice cells all flashing to indicate that a voice is playing. So it's that easy to use. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.